So many gentlemen guys, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This should be chapter 15, if I am remembering correctly. When we last left off, uh, we were in a new territory, getting our ass kicked at a... Excuse me, getting our ass kicked at this, uh... I don't know what the fuck it's actually called. i look for the, the correct thing here. The Fly Agaric, um... Challenge, I guess, for lack of a better word. So, yeah, actually. We're going to try to head up there to get that viewpoint. I don't know if I actually can. And then we're going to go from there. We'll see how much I can do in this area. And then we'll progress the story. This is obviously a much later uh, game area. I wanted to make sure my uh, predator bow was on, not my hunter bow. It seems like I more or less can do stuff on this island anyways. stance though <clears throat> I don't know what the fuck her foot was on but <clears throat> all right apparently there's something over here we'll take a look at all three things <clears throat> do as much as we can do in this area for now Stack up stones to reach the required height. Eivor. Come. Stand here and look out over the fjords. Hold my hand. There you go. I've never been so high. <laughs> Your father brought me here long ago, when we were just 19 winters. Together we stack stones into cairns. These? Yes. Think of this as a test of mind and wit. Stack the cairn stones high and wide into any shape you like. How do I win? You win by... <clears throat> Alright on. Skill point. I'll take it.
Interesting. All right. Kind of want to be lazy. Fast travel to the boat. From the boat I can head ashore and get these other two things that are here. Damn, the first thing is over here somewhere. First chest, rather. something else across the river over here. And that should be it for this island. Dangerous ass wolves. <laughs> Need one of these. Agility. All right, that was everything on this island. Let's see how much further north I can go. I don't think I can go through the middle here, but I could try. I'm very surprised we made it through there. So I can't go basically anything past this line right there. So probably can't reach that either, which means 
I've done everything I can in this area for now. So we'll head back to uh, Alakstead and then uh, progress the quests, main story and whatnot. One of your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorham is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare to show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce, and Gorham is too weak to try anything bold. He's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one, and see that she warms herself with drink. I will find my father, and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kjotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess. All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. Is this how your brotherhood operates? You sneak around in the daylight, stabbing your victims where they stand. Said like that, you make me blush. We are seekers of justice, shepherds of man's will. We work in the dark to serve the light. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake, and Gorm is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. Alright. <clears throat> Teach me, Basim. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the tr trick to work. Incognito mode. <clears throat> Gorm is there, in the camp ahead. Dear Grom's cabin, a cloak diminishes unwanted attention. Drinking mead on an empty stomach. Uh, uh, you have to eat something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed Eivor! You arker shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? Uh. <laughs> uh. 
You can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harold's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You are shed into this world without honor, Gorm. And you will leave as a turd, dumped into Hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The Alding will have started. I should find Sigurd. Alright, let's go find Sigurd. At the longhouse. me to say he does thank you his day will come oh gods i hate long speeches only when you're not giving them many of you knew my father half done the black a great man who achieved great things they buried half done's leg near our temple the crops have never grown tall <laughs> they buried his arse near ours and we get nothing but a muddy river! I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blooded before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble girl. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Yuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjortve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bagrat, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor wolf kissed. You are Kjortve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? Exile, Lord. Banish him to the wilds where even a slave could kill him with impunity. A wise choice. Death would be too easy a way out. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. 
Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You'll drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, dear Bjornjarl. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stebion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. All I know of fate is that its pattern is unknowable. I do not worry beyond that fact. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. I mean, it's pretty obvious how the story is going to play out at this point. You know, obviously we're going to say no to being under his rule. And we're going to try to do our own rule and it's going to it's going to be war and hectic and chaos. And we're going to find out that he's actually part of this Templar clan or, Allah's you know, colors. whatever we're calling it. He's already marking his territory. Mark it. Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harald may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. Hey, a couple more skill points. I will definitely take those. Thank you, game. Now we have Breakfall. I think the next thing I want is auto loot. Where are we right now? Back in Fornberg, huh? Interesting. If you wish to have words, come closer. Excuse me? Are you one of Harald's men? I am. The king wishes to make a survey of the land he now rules. Nothing more. Let me ask, are you one of the conquered? Did Harald take your lands as well? No. My family has lived under his banner since the days of his father, Aftan the Black. Well, welcome to Thornburg, warrior. I have not had a win all day. I must turn this around. It's Eivor. 
Open the door. Come in, but keep your voice down. We'll alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back. The wash will never end. Two days ago, we rid this land of Kurtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Chadvis riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Chadvis riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed, and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Well, I'm glad we basically did everything in this area that we could do, with the only exception being the, uh, the mushroom fight there. <laughs> Which, those guys are just way too strong. I guess I was getting one hit on these guys, so... It is for the best that I do not challenge them until much later. I find it flattering. You think one will marry... Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I am ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd? What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth,